Mr. Jomo Kenyatta yeah, for the, the people were striking those striking those protests. Uh, for it was two days or three days, it rained for some days. Uh, jobs things were not running in the airport. So due to Adani, there's a, a new company that is brought, a private sector company that is brought to take over the Kenya Authority of, of Airports in managing all airports in Kenya. Um, what is your opinion on this potential change? And how do you think it would affect the management and operation and also employment of the Kenyan citizens in all major airports? Uh, I think Adani is the conversation. Okay. And uh, it is a very important conversation mm -hmm. that affects almost everybody in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, one, um, according to my humble opinion, mm -hmm. it is really a wrong thing. Mm -hmm giving your country's property. Mm -hmm. You know, we pride uh, in that airport. Okay. Because that airport has given an employment to many people. Okay. Yeah, people are uh, more than 5,000 that are just employed at the uh, Kenya Port Authority. Okay. Airport. Mm -hmm. And uh, plus other air strips and uh, airport mm -hmm. salon. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I think government did a very wrong thing mm -hmm. uh, in uh, tendering that thing to the private, to visit to Adani. Okay. Because even one, uh, if you get to internet mm -hmm. and I try to know more about Adani, okay. the only thing you will get is negativity. Mm -hmm. That Adani is a very corrupt company. Okay. That is one uh, fraudulent company. Okay. Yeah. So first, why would we trust a company of that nature mm -hmm. giving our airport? Which is the Maybe you people have given them a chance to hear their side. Have you tried to talk to the Adani people? You yeah. hear their side? Yeah, I'm coming there. Okay. So two, mm -hmm. if you want to, you think that uh, leasing airport to a private company okay. would add some value, what you do, first mm -hmm. you must do what is called public participation. Mm -hmm. So that you can uh, tell the people the reason why you think that is the best route to take. Mm -hmm. Now, people have got representatives. So I think that thing should be was to be taken to parliament, both houses, mm -hmm. so that there they can know mm -hmm. whether this thing can be debated, mm -hmm. to know whether these are uh, companies, the best company, mm -hmm. what are some of the indicators involved, mm -hmm. so that we get convinced. But the worst part of it mm -hmm. is that Kenyans are going to lose jobs, mm -hmm. majority of Kenyans, because once and then it comes, mm -hmm. they are going to be the airport managers. Okay. So it means even our people that are employed there, they are their jobs are at risk. Mm -hmm. So, three, I think we also have even Kenya and companies, private companies, okay. who can also do the same. Okay. They could have just done open tender. Mm -hmm. So that even if they are Kenyans, Kenya should ought to be given priority. Mm -hmm. If it was that now we must lease airport okay. due to expansion as they put it, okay. then it ought to have given Kenya to do first priority. So when we fail, or when there's no people applying, mm -hmm. we can consider outside what? Companies. So my take is uh, that and anything is a scam. Mm -hmm. uh, even Gen Z's actually, in fact, I want to thank Gen Z's mm -hmm. for coming out. Because mm -hmm. if Gen Z's never came out, mm -hmm. then that thing uh, would be a thing of the past. You see? So me, I think that thing is wrong. Government should just withdraw. Totally. Yeah. And what do you think yes, how the right. President Ruto saying you want to make the airport look like? You saw the one in Dubai and Saudi Arabia, how mm. their airport mm. is getting built. Mm. Uh, it's a very huge airport and it's really nice. Mm. The structure, is really that, how they share the structure, it's mm. very nice. But mm. he wants the airport of Kenya to be upgraded. That's what he's, he's mm. saying. That's why he approached the company. Mm. And that company agreed mm. to support and do all that, manage the airport and create it to be better the way we want it. Mm. Why are you people going against it? You see, we are not going against it. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the process mm -hmm. it is not is it is not a transparent process. How it is done? <laughs> so what should be done? One, we also want airport to be expanded because once airport is expanded, it will provide opportunities okay. for for our Kenyans, mm -hmm. young Kenyans with get opportunities. But one, do you know how much KA is getting from that airport? How much? A lot of money. A lot of money that KA is getting from that airport. Okay. Two, government has got money. Why can't government just borrow? Because it's around 200 and uh, something billion. Why can't just government borrow that money? 
Uh -huh. eh? from, okay, or from, from, from from outside, from donors. <laughs> the only itself can go to that money. Okay. From donors, mm -hmm. expand our airport mm -hmm. so that airport itself can generate money to pay that loan back. But you know something which is unfortunate. Since Ruto came into power, mm -hmm. Ruto has been borrowing money. Mm -hmm. Can you say the money borrowed by Ruto has done anything? Mm -hmm. Can you mention yourself? That I you have seen? Idea because during during President Uhuru, at least we can say one, there is mm -hmm. a super express highway. Mm -hmm. That money was borrowed, at least we can see okay. there's something. During Uru time, we can say uh, Eastern Viper, where I come from, Eastern mm -hmm. from okay. Eastern Viper was done. Mm -hmm. They borrowed money. You see, so government is borrowing money, including leasing of that airport. The process you will not see. Mm -hmm. In fact, if deal is done behind the scene, mm -hmm. how do you know that the kickbacks that were taken? Okay, but so if so the government mm -hmm. wants to e expand, mm -hmm. let the due process done. Mm -hmm. Public participation should be done, due process should be done. We should be convinced that that's the best route. Mm -hmm. But right now, the way things are being taken, the way these are hidden, they're only saying it is not right. We just okay. think there's something <laughs> hidden. That well, what do you think is hidden? Why do you always, you know, there's a perception of people, you're always saying, oh, something is hidden. Something, mm -hmm. What is it? Hidden? Something is hidden when the right procedure is not done. Okay, what do you think are like the right procedure has to be? What is the right procedure? The right procedure is, is uh -huh. public tendering what we have done. Okay. Okay, but if they just say we want to expand the airport, we are doing tenders. Mm -hmm. Tenders is open to either local uh, local companies mm -hmm. or international companies. Okay. So once that tender is done, people mm -hmm. apply. Okay. So once people apply, the normal processes are done. Do you think it's going to be followed with the current government? That's why we are saying we don't even need to be followed, we just want that deal to go. That deal is a wrong deal, it is not the right, right deal. We want that deal saying, to go, but it's we are just saying, you know, we are not thing. interested. There's no electricity. Government has got money to do such. Government you has got money to expand the Recently, we saw interviews, we asked people, where do you see the money? You see the money? There's a lot of money in government. Right? <laughs> There's a lot of money in government that just go. People, corruption is in government. Okay. Let me ask you. For mm -hmm. example, if we talk about uh, Kimware and Are, uh, mm -hmm. Amo, Amo, is it Kimware and? The dams. The dams. Okay. A lot of money mm -hmm. were taken from those dams. Okay. Where is that money? I don't know. Does the dams work? No. They don't. They don't. Where is that money? And Ruto was, okay. sometimes was saying it was only seven billion. Okay. Do you know how much is seven billion? Seven billion. That has that. That is Kenyan shillings. Kenyan shillings. That's too small. <laughs> no. Do you know how much is seven billion? Seven billion. You know we are talking about something very really important. Okay. For building the. Do you know seven billion can build how many companies? Uh, that's many. Like hmm? maybe ah more more more. Yeah. And you know how those companies can give employment to how many people? Over mm -hmm. thousands of thousands, a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you, government mm -hmm. is in capacity to mm -hmm. expand the airport. Okay. And the money produced by airport is a lot of money. Okay. But now nobody can even uh, get accountable for that money. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing Ruto should do mm -hmm. is to do an overhaul okay. of the whole system at the airport. Okay. So that we know the money we are getting as a profit in our okay. Then from so, there, you tell us the reason why you think we should expand. Okay. Yes. Accountability is a problem, I A big one. A big one. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> what do you tell to a Kenyan that is watching you right now? Or a young person who seen David and say, David is my role model now. What do you tell a young Kenyan? Yeah, so I think uh, the best thing as a young Kenyan, mm -hmm. uh, as I started saying, our future is today. Okay. We should uh, debunk the narrative of the old people telling us mm -hmm. that our future is tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, it has been a very long narrative. Mm -hmm. It has not worked mm -hmm. and it will not work. Okay. So I want to tell those young Kenyans that are watching you that it is our time. Mm -hmm. Today is our time. Mm -hmm. The wrong things that are happening in government mm -hmm. is us, us to come okay. and bring that change. So it is you and I mm -hmm. that should come sit down. Mm -hmm. In fact, we should not never be, uh, be, be discussing about uh, the old people, about other things. It is us now to come and think on how we can bring a change mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And change does not just come easily. It mm -hmm. is our that we need to fight for it. That's what I'm saying, even as I was saying, I'm buying as ODM chair. Mm -hmm. That's just a stepping stone to get onto a table where we can discuss issues. Okay. I like when my boss saying it, at, uh, when we are not on the table, we'll break that table. Mm -hmm. And it is a time that as young people, mm -hmm. we should ensure that we need what Jesus did. That if it is not working with us on the table, we just break that table totally. And mm -hmm. we get, yes. Okay, uh, is there someone who has a question to the social media? Diff is asking, do you think we'll have a country in the next four years? You are saying the future. When the next leader, do you think we'll have a country? 
Um, the way things are going, mm -hmm. uh, actually, the country is not promising. Because you see now, instead of discussing uh, how to build our economy, uh, the DPT and the president are discussing on how uh, our, their marriages is ending, what and what. Mm -hmm. But now, it is now us to come and say, no, enough is enough. Even if you are going the disease way, better we go the disease way and have a kind of So enough is enough, let us come as uh, young people, uh, talk just uh, freely on what is not working, mm -hmm. do the right thing, and when we come out and do the right thing, I think Kenya will be a right place for all of us. Okay. Yeah. I uh, want people who are watching uh, Beef Media mm -hmm. that are led, please let us support comments. Mm -hmm. You say it is a very important thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no uh, opportunities in Kenya. Yeah, people are just looting. So if you get young people who have decided that no matter how economy is difficult, we must just come with something. We need to support them. Okay. So wherever you are, please let us support these young people, our voices as young people, as old people. Yeah, there's a, a free space for all of us. So okay. let us support them too. When I came here, uh, I've also seen what they are doing. They are doing a good match.